you how to use chalk, an eraser, toilet paper, or a tissue paper to create a really quick value study. And this is also called the subtractive and additive method of drawing. Below, you'll see a link to the picture that I'm using. I'm looking at it, but I took a picture of what I'm looking at so you can have the picture. All you need is a dark color of chalk, an eraser. You can just use a pencil eraser if that's all you have. Tissue paper, paper, and then I just taped my borders with masking tape. So just hopefully you enjoyed that, that's it. The things that you need are some chalk, some tape, some tissues. Before we draw this, we're just gonna put a quick tape border on. First thing you wanna do is get your chalk, whatever color, it just needs to be dark, you can just use black, and you wanna put it on this way. Let's pretend my hand's the paper. You don't wanna do it like that, you wanna press it like this. Cover your whole paper with it. Then you wanna take your tissue paper and smear it. Do this before you blow off all the chalk. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw with our eraser. Think big to small, we wanna be able to fit it on here. So I'm gonna take the ball first and I'm gonna compare everything else to it. It's not quite in the middle, it's kind of off to the side. Sometimes you have to go over your lines a few times. Don't rub it or else it's just gonna smear your chalk. And I have this block it's starting about halfway. Keep these two lines parallel to each other. And then I also have this comb. It was drawn like a pancake, and I can just see part of it. And then I'm gonna start by drawing this square right here, in this block. This is where it can get a little tricky because we have this triangle pyramid thing on top of our block, and this is the highest part of our display. So we have our sketch. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase out all of the highlights, so all of the lightest parts on there. So here's a picture of it. I'm so I'm just gonna erase. The light's coming from the right. So I'm just gonna try and erase that on here. Erase it on here. This whole part of this one is completely white. So just press lighter to not make it as harsh, and then this front side of this is pretty white. The bottom part of this is lighter, but it's not quite as light. That one is pretty crooked to me right now. It's really easy to fix it. You just can smudge things and that's your eraser. Now we're gonna take our chalk and we're gonna put in some of our shadows. So maybe we'll just start on the left side and I just can see some shadows coming back like this. Up right here. There's a shadow underneath this ball. And there's a little bit of a shadow that's gonna be right in here. There is a shadow on our cylinder that is made from our block. And then this side of our cylinder is a little darker. Now I'm gonna start by drawing in some of these shapes. So kind of just draw over where you erased. Put some of your lines back in. The important thing is to keep your lines parallel to each other. Now this is a process of erasing and adding and then re-adding. So we're just gonna keep working with this until we get the, the shadows exactly where we want them. I'm gonna soften it up a little bit and then I'm gonna make it this one. I think I'm just gonna add some shadows on this side that are a little darker. So I'm just gonna take my tissue, I'm just gonna smear some of those areas. Remember when you smear it, it's gonna smudge out some of our lines, so we're gonna have to come back in and fix some of those. We're gonna fix some with our eraser, we're gonna fix some with our chalk. I would do the eraser first and the chalk next. You don't want them all to all blend together, and when you start smudging it, they start to really blend together. If you get lines like that, you can just take your... So you have the direct light that I have from my window, and then you also have light that maybe bounces off of the table or walls back onto the object. Look around and see if you can see any of those areas. Compositionally, this is shifted a little bit that way, which is, is not great. The very last step is just to take your tape off and I would sign it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully this was helpful for you and we'll see you around on YouTube.